Hello, my name is Wessel, and in the next five minutes, I'll be presenting our work on autoregressive conditional neural processes. This work has been the result of a fantastic collaboration with my colleagues, who are shown on the slides. Neural processes operate in a setting of meta-learning. In meta-learning, there are many data sets, often small, and we wish to make a prediction for every one of them. We can view making predictions as a mapping, where the input to the mapping is a data set, a collection of input output pairs, and the output is a probability distribution. For example, means and variances are test inputs. In this presentation, we'll denote a typical instance of such a mapping by pi. Neural processes are a powerful class of neural network-based parameterizations of these mappings. This is the definition of a neural process, a mapping from data sets to predictions implemented with neural networks. To train a neural process, we consider many small data sets, split every one of them into a small train and a small test set, a meta-learning language called a context set and a target set, and optimize the probability of the target sets under the predictions given the context sets. Then at test time, once a neural process is trained, to obtain a prediction for a data set that we haven't seen before, we can simply apply the mapping. The power of neural processes is that they are an extremely versatile and flexible technique, which is able to produce fast probabilistic predictions for unseen data. On top of that, neural processes are simple to train and just work well in practice. One particularly exciting application of neural processes is climate science. The slide shows an example called downscaling, where the neural process attempts to refine coarse-grained outputs of climate simulators into fine-grained predictions. Although neural processes work extremely well in practice, they are no panacea. Consider the first, most basic neural process, the conditional neural process, abbreviated CNP. Consider a data set and the prediction produced by the CNP for that data set. Although CNPs can be readily generalized to non-Gaussian marginals and can be trained with a simple closed form objective, if we try to sample from the prediction of the CNP, then this sample looks incredibly noisy. The problem is that the CNP does not model correlations, so the CNP is unable to produce coherent samples. To combat this issue, Marta Canello and colleagues came up with the latent variable version. This latent variable version can produce coherent samples, but training now requires approximations. Another option is Gaussian neural processes, but these are limited to Gaussian predictions. In this work, we propose another alternative, autoregressive conditional neural processes, abbreviated ARCNPs. ARCNPs produce correlated non-Gaussian predictions and do not require approximations. Unfortunately, there is no free lunch. What ARCNPs give up is the property of consistent predictions, and we'll come back to this shortly. The idea behind autoregressive conditional neural processes is to take an existing CNP and to feed the output of the CNP back into the model in an autoregressive fashion. For example, to make a prediction for some Y1, Y2, and Y3, the CNP first makes a prediction for Y1, then feeds that prediction back into the model to make a prediction for Y2, and again feeds that prediction back into the model to finally make a prediction for Y3. You might observe that this decomposition closely resembles the product rule. We would like to emphasize that autoregressive models are not new at all. On the contrary, there's a huge literature on neural autoregressive models, and we explore connections to these models in the paper. Running neural processes in AR mode, on the other hand, has not yet been explored. The primary benefit of running a neural process in AR mode is that the predictions are correlated and non-Gaussian. Moreover, and we emphasize this strongly, running a neural process in AR mode only changes the way the model is deployed. Crucially, it requires no modifications to the model or to the training procedure. This means that practitioners may take their existing neural process models and they could try running them in AR mode for a potential free performance boost. The main downside of ARCNPs is that predictions now depend on the number and the order of the data. We earlier referred to this as a lack of consistent predictions. Moreover, the AR procedure requires multiple forward passes of the model. As an example of how powerful ARCNPs are, Consider the following conf CMP trained on sawtooth data. The plot shows a sample, which looks very noisy. However, if we run the conf CMP in AR mode, we get these beautiful looking sawtooth samples out, which exhibit multimodality and non-Gaussian marginals. When we first observed this behavior, we were surprised because we made, we made no modifications to the model or to the training procedure. The ability of the model to produce coherent non-Gaussian samples has been hidden inside the model all along. In the paper, we explain all this and a lot more in a lot more detail. We provide an implementation of all neural process models used in the paper on the link GitHub. 
If you find the work interesting, please do consider us at the poster or reach out at the stated email address. Thank you.